Private islands are the ultimate indulgence for the rich and famous. And when we spent a week at Francis Ford Coppola's Turtle Inn in Belize last year, the staff told us about Coral Key, his private island that's just a 30 minute boat ride off the coast. And when they said our family could have the entire place to ourselves for three days, we knew we had to see if the secluded beach life is all it's cracked up to be. The trip we took to Belize last year was fun for the whole family, but especially Colt. He cried on many occasions after we left because he missed it so much, and he's been begging us to come back because he is a critter geek. He spent his whole time on that trip with the gardener, catching snakes, lizards, and oh, tarantulas. So we made him an offer he couldn't refuse. Get straight A's and we'll go back. Well, he got straight A's and we're going back today but he doesn't know that yet. Here we are at the American Express Centurion Lounge and he has no idea where we're going just yet. So we're about to go catch our first leg, which is a United flight straight from here to Belize City. And I think he's gonna figure it out along the way. Let's go get the kids. We're going to Turtle Inn. Yay! And then we have an extra special surprise. We're going to be at Turtle Inn first, and then we are going to the private island. And it's going to be just how many our nights, family how many nights, how many for two nights. nights. Let me see your smile. <laughs> are you happy, honey? Are we actually going to Turtle Inn? We are actually going to Turtle Inn. Hey, we are really proud of you. You set a goal and you achieved it. And we're really proud of you. And I know that it wasn't always easy. And sometimes you had to have grit and work really hard but you accomplished it and we're really proud. Yeah! Are you ready to go on flight? Yeah! So this flight's taken us to Belize City. Belize City was actually founded in 1638 by the English, but it was called Belize Town at the time. But before that, it was actually a Mayan city. For this flight, we're going straight through from Denver to Belize City, and we all got upgraded to first class for free. Hey. Loyalty has its privileges. Well, we weren't going to be seated together, but we had a couple come on here and they were split up just like us, so we swapped and now... Hi! Hi, neighbor! <laughs> See you in Belize City. Welcome to Belize City, the most populous city in all of Belize, but contrary to popular belief, not the capital of the country. What is it? I didn't know. What is the capital? I don't know. This is a little tradition for us. Whenever we come to Belize, we try Hi, some rum. Cheers. Cheers, baby. Hopefully this is better than what we had last time. Much yeah. better. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Much better. I just gotta... Pick up my slack. <laughs> Two different kinds of coconut rum. I think I like mine a little bit better. The Placencia Airport's tiny, so we're taking a puddle jumper on the 30 minute flight down the coast from Belize City. This is my favorite part of the trip because the view is unbeatable. Now that we're here, we just need to find our ride over to Turtle Inn. All right, we got our driver Renato here and he's gonna take us right over to the resort. It's gonna take just a couple of minutes. You guys excited? Yep. It's taking us about three minutes to get from the tarmac to the resort. Welcome back. Thank you. Where are the turtles? Uh, I don't know, maybe. You're not in water, you can't swim. <laughs> well, welcome to Turtle Inn. This is home base for the Coppola family private island. So we have to take our boat from here. But first, take a look around here. Feels good to be back. So we're not gonna give you a full tour of the Turtle Inn because we've already made a full episode out of that. If you haven't seen it yet, click up here to add it to your queue. What do we have here? Drinks. Cheers. Mm. Cheers, baby. After a quick change of wardrobe, we just need to pick out some wines from the cellar here so that we have something really good to drink with dinner. And then we're gonna go across the street to hop on the boat and head to the island. Let's get walking. some wine. <laughs> okay. Ooh. It is so cool in here. We're gonna get some champagne and we're gonna stick with the Coppola wines and they have this lovely bottle of Sophia. Blanc de Blanc. Bubbly. This is Darwin. He is going to be our butler Hello. on the island. So he's going to help take care of everything for us. Yes, it's nice to meet you, um, Philip and Erin. Um, yeah, we're going to go to the island. Coral Key is going to be a great experience. The weather is really good. So 
we're looking forward for a nice adventure at our own very private island. And we're gonna take these with us. Come to the island with us. We have two of these. All right, since we're all stocked up on booze, we're gonna head across the street here and meet the boat that's gonna take us out to the island. By the way, Darwin's also bringing some additional groceries and provisions for us. We've got maybe the possibility of a bonfire. So we got some marshmallows that he's bringing with. <laughs> so basically everything we need to have a great time out there. We're headed. I need to get some snorkel gear. I'm the only one in the family without snorkel. Actually, I brought everything except my fins, so I'm gonna get some fins too. I was thinking I didn't need them, but honestly, if I'm gonna be free diving for lobster and conch, I'd like to have some. We're loading them up on that boat. All right. Christ was. Yep. Whoa. See? <laughs> I needed his help. I couldn't be more excited about this trip, and the weather couldn't be more perfect. We brought the good weather today. Hey everybody, meet our capable captain, Doran. 30 minutes to get us to the island. Learn from my mistake. I forgot my sunglasses. Make a list before you pack. Baby, I'm gonna help you out. Tell you what, you lose focus for just one minute in this game. And have the best husband in the world. Welcome to Coral Key. My name is Nick. This is Abby. I'm gonna take care of you along with Darwin uh, for the next couple of nights. Okay, read it out loud, really loud. Welcome, Ari and Philip Cole plus Brooklyn. Woohoo! Water is perfectly clear. This is way cooler than I expected. Look at all the fish. Oh, you're gonna give me a tour? We'll check out the cottages later, but let's explore the ground. The idea that this is all ours for the next few days is really cool because you're so secluded. Seeing the stuff on TV, reading about it in other places just doesn't do it justice. Right, baby? I don't even know where to start. Maybe this snorkeling? Is, this is gonna be awesome. One of the first things that really strikes me about being here is how quiet it is. I mean, all of the resorts that we've been to, it looks the same around here, but because you have so many more people and all of the landscaping equipment, it becomes very loud with all of that noise. But here, it's like, really, the only thing that I hear is waves and my own kids. It is really cool. Ah! Just walking through here feels like walking through any other resort property, except that this is all ours. What I'm talking about is just how unusual the feeling is to know that that picnic table is only for us. This hammock is only for us. This day bed's only for us. This table over here is only for us. The seclusion is just insane. There's so much to see and do. I'm not even sure where to start, but Aaron does. Getting internet hooked up. <laughs> I do. I was, yeah, that's all I'm doing. Priorities, priorities. Uh-huh. So we got internet connectivity here, which is great because like we do, we work and vacation at the same time. We can even do it on a private island. Try more cookies. You want more cookies? It's vacation. Go yep. for it. Darwin's gonna make us a cocktail, so let's pony up to the bar. This will be a proper uh, Mai Tai. It's gonna be one ounce um, lime. Fresh, of course. And then um, this is um, simple syrup, which is basically water with sugar. And that one's very dark, so that's like real... So this is uh, brown sugar, brown so this is raw sugar. Wow, okay. And then this is like made in Belize. Yeah, oh, so nice. So this is not like refined, it's like a raw brown sugar. Awesome. So we use um, one ounce of this as well. We use a uh, half ounce of Cointreau. And then we use, uh, we have a three barrel um, refined aged rum, which is a Belizean um, local rum. So we're gonna use a shot, which is a 1.5 ounce. Then we add some ice. Then we shake. Um, yes. After Very nice um, gosling rum. We're gonna do a little garnish for it, a little snail. Oh, that's <laughs> really oh, pretty. Nail. Did you say a horse? That's adorable. I love, love these straws. Wait, oh, love the bamboo the straws. They're environmentally friendly. There we go. So we got our classic um, Mai Tai with um, a drum. Here we go. 
Thank you. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. It looks like dragons. Mm. That's good. That is a good Mai Tai. That's good rum, too. It's even better on an island. I didn't know that rum could be better, but it can when you're on an island. <sighs> that is a spot. We brought our own bottle of rum. This is Tiburon. Have you had this? I've had it, yeah. Tiburon is Spanish for shark, right? Sure. Shark. So we got this one when we were in town doing our Placencia Village food tour yesterday. That's a different episode. Make sure you subscribe so you can see it. Sometimes life feels perfect and you want to freeze a moment in time. Well, my Mai Tai is empty and I'm hungry. So let's go over here and have a little lunch. All right, our very first meal on the island. Four. What a beautiful place to eat, huh, buddy? Yes. Oh, sorry, I you're singing about one <laughs> what? Hey, babe, look. Marie Sharps. Oh, perfect. This was also in our other episode. Oh, this looks very good. Right, we got our homemade potato fries, some mm. chicken tenders, grilled uh, jumbo shrimps with some coleslaw, yes. homemade coleslaw. We got here our Creole style um, lobster, <sighs> which is um, like a lobster stew mm. with some uh, bell peppers, onions, and tomatoes served with a side of coleslaw. Island life, you know? So good. Good? Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. So good. <laughs> That's some of the best lobster I've ever had. After that amazing meal, I'm gonna go get some swim trunks on and we're gonna do some snorkeling. All right, we've been instructed that the best place to enter for doing the snorkeling is over here, right off the dock. So we're gonna head over this way. How was it, baby? Oh, yeah. It was good. I feel like I could be in the water for hours. Babe, are you as ready for another Mai Tai as I am? I am. I'm gonna rinse off in the outdoor shower. Throw in the corner. Now that we are all cleaned up, I'm gonna just uh, get us ready for dinner, because we're hungry. Look at that, that's grilled fish. This is one of the bottles that we brought with us from the wine cellar. Cheers, baby. Cheers, my love. It would be a lot of fun to actually live here and cook for yourself, but it is definitely a whole additional amazing dynamic to have a crew that is making cocktails for you and making dinner for you, starting fires for you, bringing groceries for you. Kind of like me at home. He still does that for me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, what? First dinner on a private island. What do you think? I love it. Woo! Why? I think the scenery can't be beat. The food and views are great, but this is what we love most about our travels. Just decompressing and hanging out as a family. <laughs> but it's been a long, busy day, so we're gonna call it a night. I'm sure Erin's gonna want her a cup of coffee, and last night I was promised a mimosa. One of the more unfortunate sides of private island life is the erosion, and you can see right down here, all of these tree roots that ostensibly were once kind of underground, and you can see where they've built this barrier here to try to cut back on the erosion, and they've done that in a few areas around the island, but obviously it has limited impact, probably just prolongs it a little bit, but doesn't really solve the problem. So who knows how much longer this island will be around. Good morning. Good morning, Darwin. How you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. Good. This bottle of champagne was compliments of the Turtle Inn. Thank you. Oh, there's one more thing I have to take care of before I sit down for breakfast. I gotta work on my fitness. So even though traveling can uh, burn quite a few calories, because other than sitting on the airplane, you tend to not be very sedentary. So one of the things that I do is kind of a throwback to when I was at the Air Force Academy, where we would do about a thousand push-ups a day. So I've already started this morning, and with this set, I'm gonna do another 30, and that puts me up to 200 for the morning before breakfast. I'm already 20% of the way done. You know what I love about this private island? I love that it's small enough to where you look any direction and you realize you are completely surrounded by the Caribbean. Breakfast tastes incredible on a private island, doesn't it? It's like my toast is thick too. One of the best parts of having a private island is being able to do whatever you're in the mood for. On the water, we have lounge chairs and this trampoline. We have stand-up paddle boards, sea kayaks, single and tandem. We have canoes, snorkeling, spear fishing, and rod fishing. 
All right, Brooklyn wants to go snorkeling now. And when we want to get out of the sun, or sometimes out of the rain, we have a cottage full of great bar games. All right, so over here we got our um, ceviche. This one is a lobster, freshly caught lobster ceviche. Here we got a Kong ceviche. Yum. Oh. Everything very tropical, everything looking Caribbean and looking Belizean as well. Nice, thank, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. I just love how every single thing we eat here was created like grown or caught right here. And the salad is so good, so fresh. These vegetables were all grown at Turtle Inn on the property. Same with the olive oil and citrus and some herbs in this dressing. And the olive oil, of course, is imported from Italy. Coppola's favorite place. I'm gonna show you a tour of Coral Cottage. So right here is my dad's workplace where he puts all his GoPros and stuff, camera stuff. There's no air conditioning in here, but it gets plenty cool with the, the breeze coming off the water and the fans all over the place, um, so we don't have any problems sleeping. It's nice and cool. As you notice, there's no closet, so we're kind of using these shelves as a closet. And then behind each of the doors, they have these really cool hangers I want to show you. They are made out of bamboo, just like so many things at Turtle Inn and on the island, totally organic and uh, native to the area. And bambooian. And bambooian. Made by a local, I'm sure of it. Uh, but this is the only indoor shower on the property. Who would ever want to use one? I don't. Like, honestly, there's no point. We've got these amazing outdoor showers. I love outdoor showers. But this is a king bed. This is also the only king bed on the island for the guests, as far as we know. Uh, the other two are what, queens? Bulls? I think so. Yeah. Queens and twins. Yeah. A mixture. But that's it. This is the master hut. And over here, you can get some water. Yes, I do love these jugs. The clay pots keep them temperature controlled. All right, let's go check out some other spots around the island. This is where the kids are sleeping in Seahorse Cottage. So it's really just two rooms that are totally identical. I'd call that, would you call that a queen or a full? Maybe a queen? I think it's a queen. Yeah. And then a twin over here. You can sleep three people in each room because this one, exactly the same. We're gonna walk you right past it to this wraparound porch that goes right to the full bathroom. And right around the corner is the shower. I love outdoor showers. But it's our last night on the island and we're gonna go clean up for dinner, which is supposed to be a special send off. This is huge! All right, so here we got our um, Caribbean spiny lobster. Oh, it's grilled God! With some garlic butter. <laughs> oh my gosh, we could have shared one. I no. <laughs> no? But we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Uh -huh. So, Erin <laughs> wanted a surf and turf, so we grilled a T bone <laughs> steak as well. And also, we got um, a steak sauce over here made with um, mushroom, um, onions, red wine, and some soy sauce. Well, this is a meal, right? Oh my gosh, the steak looks like it's cooked pretty damn perfect. And this sauce is really yummy. Oh. That is so good. All of the food on this entire trip has been five star. You're not wrong. And all of the food is, if it's not from Turtle Inn, it's from Belize. So it's all locally sourced food. After an entire trip of perfect weather, on the morning we're going to leave, pouring rain, as if to say, time to get out of here. Because of the rain, we are having our final meal. Breakfast is in the great room by the bar, and we got chilaquiles. That's my favorite dish to have on vacation. So in the end, private island life, is it something you could do longer term? I mean, I could definitely have my hair like this long term. It's festive. I think I would definitely get island fever trying to do this longer term. Personally, I need a lot of activities and actually more social interaction. So if you had a helicopter or some way to get to other people in a very quick manner, I think I would really love this type of an arrangement. Yeah. Otherwise, I think it's a little too secluded for my taste. But short term, it was perfect. And turns out you can actually book this entire island for yourself. So if you want to do a vacation and give this a try on your own, 
Just go to Turtle Inn's website and you can book a stay. But this is just the latest jaunt in our semi-nomadic family travels. We've already got our next three trips booked out to Europe again. So be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to follow us all along the way. And if you want to learn about how we fuel most of our stays at all of these amazing locations, you can go to followabc.com slash pass and learn about Inspirado. Two years ago, we decided it was time for my ad agency to abandon the in-person five-day work week. So we 86 our office and work hours, allowing our own family of five to start traveling almost constantly. We now work, school, and explore in a new place every week, from our own mountain and beach homes to exotic villas, resorts, and yachts around the world. As we experience and support diverse cultures, we hope to inspire more families to design a life of freedom and adventure. Because there's a new American dream. It's one that's void of templated expectations, templated career paths, templated education, templated families, templated homes, and templated lives. Freedom's no longer American tagline. It's just the new global way of life. Every day that you spend doing something that doesn't fulfill you to your core, you're living your life on pause. You're deferring genuine family time with no guarantee that there will be a tomorrow or a someday. Some people follow that mentality their entire lives. We've chosen to never live that way again. We appreciate you following our journey. The more our channel grows, the more time we can spend traveling to more locations, contributing to these cultures, highlighting local businesses, and sharing inspiring stories from these communities. So please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing so that you can stick with us for the long haul.